try. The last leg of the series and for some the last chance to impress coach Andy Friend. Six changes to the squad for London with Sam Fig among them. It's, it's really important to take your opportunities here and there's not as many as you really want throughout the year. And with a big squad like we do, do have, it's, it's important to take your opportunities when, when they're put in front of you. So really excited but at the same time uh, keen to just help the team. Palmer Foe back from a shoulder injury while Pat McCutcheon is starting to hit his straps. Over the top it comes to McCutcheon. It's, it's a different feeling to, to Super Rugby and yeah, it probably took me a little bit to, to adjust to that. Um, but you know, I feel like I've done, them, I've done the time and I've sort of, I feel like I'm, I'm probably a sevens player again. Although... Uh, you train with all these boys throughout the week and they step you and they've got some lightning feet and speed and you're like, oh... It's truth, I don't know if I'll keep up with them, but you get out there in the field and you know to know, to know that you can compete with the world's best for 14 minutes, game in, game out. Um, you know, it gives you a lot of confidence. It's a replica of the World Cup Pool of Death for London this weekend, with Australia in Pool B alongside England, Wales, and a Fiji side boasting Jared Hayne. Yeah, look, Twickenham's it's it's fun pitch to play at, um, especially when you run out against the English, uh, get a couple of boos. So hopefully we can uh, get a good victory against those guys and, and see how we go from there.